on the FMCSA Clearinghouse website, clearinghouse.fmcsa.dot.gov. Click Register to get started. Then click Go to Login.gov, which will take you to the Login.gov website, and select Create an account underneath the sign in information. Here you'll simply enter in your email address and click Submit, which will send you an email and you will select the Confirm Email Address button in the email you just received. This email link will confirm the email address and take you to a page where you will be asked to create a strong password that is at least 12 characters long. Next, you will have to select Authentication Methods for Secure Login. First, you should select the phone option and enter your cell phone number. You will receive a text message with a one-time security code that you will enter on the website. The second method has many different options, and you can use an app like Google Authenticator, where after setting up the Clearinghouse connection in the app, will randomly create a security code to enter on the website. Alternatively, selecting backup codes will give you 10 backup codes that you will need to save in a document and check off after 10 future logins to the Clearinghouse website. If using this method, after 10 logins, a new batch of backup codes will need to be created and saved. Finally, clicking continue will verify that you created the login.gov account and will send you back to the Clearinghouse website and finish the registration process. The next step will show five different options to select from. All drivers need to select the driver option. Please note that all owner operators need to select employer option to continue. For drivers, be prepared to enter your CDL information. Once driver selected, click next to continue. Now you will enter your contact information, add your name, phone number, phone type, your physical address, and if the mailing address is different, unselect the checkbox and enter that information. Finally, select the preferred contact method and click next. Here is where you will enter your commercial driver's license information. Add your name, country, state, CDL number, and date of birth as found on your CDL license, and select verify. Once your CDL information has been verified, click next to continue. Finally, you will read the terms and conditions and affirm all the information is correct. Select the button and click I agree, and now you've completed your Clearinghouse registration as a driver. Drivers are now taken to their Clearinghouse dashboard where they can see if any query consent requests are pending. This is where a potential new employer will request to search the database for any information on your CDL. Drivers must authorize the employer to do this before any pre-employment drug tests can be started and before you can officially be hired or the company could face future violations. On this dashboard, drivers can also see their violation information. If there is violation history, drivers will be able to see what drug testing violation has been applied to the CDL. This violation history will remain in the clearinghouse for five years or until the driver has completed the return to duty process, whichever is later. There will be no records in the Clearinghouse database before January 6, 2020. If any violation history is inaccurate, you can go through a process to have it removed from your record. On the dashboard, drivers can select the Learn More link to see what the return to duty status information would look like if a drug and alcohol violation was recorded in the Clearinghouse. You can see the violation date of when it was reported, what status you are if the SAP sent a request, if the SAP has been designated, the initial SAP assessment's been performed or not, if you've been determined eligible for return to duty testing, what the results was, if it was negative, and finally the last step is just showing that you're in the follow-up testing process. You can scroll down a little bit further in the PDF and see 
how the clearinghouse fits into the return to duty process. As you can see, a driver with a verified drug and alcohol program violation is prohibited from performing safety sensitive functions during all of the red steps. If they're circled in green, the driver is no longer prohibited from performing safety sensitive functions once they have that return to duty test result come back negative. If you have any questions about the return to duty process, feel free to reach out to your employer or to CNS and talk to one of our experts. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of any future videos that'll be coming out. Also, CNS is here to help. Learn more about how we can help for any clearinghouse, consortium drug testing, driver safety, DQ file management, COVID-19 screening, or new company startup services, including licensing, authorities, insurance, DLDs, training, and more. You can go to www.cnsprotects.com.